What is guys Taiwan scared and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cookie and Kingdom. In this video, I want to bring you guys a cherry blossom cookie team that you can use inside of the arena. If you guys remember, there has been a lot of talks that cherry blossom cookie is not really good for the arena and better suited for the PvE or the world exploration. But I want to show you guys that cherry blossom cookie is still usable inside of the arena and she can you know deal decent amount of damage and help the team out so here we go this is going to be the team right here i have seen this team inside of the arena a couple of times as well so just wanted to share this team with you guys right here so starting off with the first cookie is going to be dark cacao cookie dark cacao cookie is going to be using just five solid almonds straight simple uh focusing on damage resist you don't really need to have cooldown here and uh, focusing on crit resist on the side if you guys can. Next one is going to be pomegranate. Same thing here with pomegranate as always. Five swift chocolate. Focusing on the damage resist as well as extra cooldown. Next one is going to be sea fairy. Something different here. Focusing on survivability. Not really on the extra cooldown. What they want to focus on is having these cookies survive all the way to the very end. To take advantage of that, you know, 350% extra damage or even on that one minute mark at that one 100% extra damage right so seafair is going to be using five solid almond herb is going to be the same as well uh focusing on damage resist as well as cooldown with the five swift chocolate and last one is going to be our cherry blossom also using the extra damage resist uh focusing on a little bit of extra cooldown as well if you guys can and uh you know having these two uh survive until the very end to do the extra damage uh with dark cacao cookie next one is going to be the treasure treasures are going to be the jelly watch as well as a feather and the scroll so feather is going to help out in case any of these cookies die earlier on and allow them to come back to use their skill one more time and have that extra second life all right so let's go into the arena now and show you guys how this team performs inside of actual gameplay all right guys so it i am still in crystal 2 since the arena has reset and i will be using uh you know whatever team that pops up and we'll be sharing you guys how this team performs so here we go first one a uh, very unique team let's go here we go it's gonna be ginger brave almond uh this team is supposed to be kind of like a one-shot team but not a one-shot team and as you can see easy sweep all right, for the sake of the video, I am going to be putting my face on the top left corner this time around. And uh, you can see Sea Fairy as well as Cherry Blossom still does decent amount of damage, right? But let's see how much damage they can do against like a more sustainable team. Here we go, guys. This is going to be another one right here, a Gingerbread Kumio, but they are using an Insignia. So let's see how well we do against this team. Here we go. Can they survive? It's going to be the biggest question here. Herb does survive, Cherry Blossom, Sea Fairy. So the theory behind it is, uh, you know, allowing the Pomegranate's uh, 30%, Cherry Blossom's extra, you know, uh, all the way up to 25%, as well as the Scroll's 59.7% uh, extra damage to see, you know, to, to kind of just increase the attack of our Sea Fairy as well as Dark Cow and have them nuke the enemy continuously right and then on top of that cherry blossom does do a decent amount of damage especially at that 30 second mark as well as that one minute mark so um you know as you can see right here still dark cow sea fairy as well as cherry blossom not far behind and also having the extra damage percent right is going to work out as well so all right guys so i've cleared out a couple of the uh, opponents and i found a good team right here it's going to be a hollow berry probably or a dark cacao here and we can see that they are using the frost queen sea phase so let's see how well our team here can do against the two legendaries with a maxed out stat pretty much so let's go and see the results here we go and it is going to be that dark cacao sea fairy frost queen eclair all right and right here they are using a content so we are going to be able to get some extra damage up from cherry blossom hitting all those sheep all right and as you can see the pomegranate herb uh the sustain right now in this meta is so good as well allowing sea fairy and cherry blossom with the extra solid almond topping to survive and continuously just hit uh when they can so right there look 1.3 million 1.3 million 1.5 million that is a ton of damage from all of them 
And also, you gotta realize because the skill order goes from pomegranate, sea fairy herb to cherry blossom, and then to dark cacao. Dark cacao has the potential to do a lot of extra damage as well, receiving all the buffs from all of these cookies, uh, or especially pomegranate and cherry blossom, and then using his skill. And you can see they don't have a they don't stand a chance from all the burst damage. All right, guys, another team here, Dark Cow Sorbet this time around, and I'm curious to see what this one is going to be. So let's go and see how well we do against this team. So I have tested this team out against a uh, team that is very similar to this, except it was that uh, Sorbet Tank team, right? So Sorbet, Pumpkin Pie, uh, it was the Frost Queen, Cotton, right? So I have tested it against, against that team as well, and I actually performed pretty well against that team too. Uh, so I want to say that because of the feather, right, even though Dark Cow does die first uh, against that Sorbet, he comes back alive, just hits them again with his skill, and then, you know, it it's just tanking for the team again. So it, it does work out really well. And here you can see that Dark Cow as well as uh, Sea Fairy, again, doing a ton of damage. And then Cherry Blossom falling behind a little bit, but does the role of giving the extra damage because we have pumpkin pie and cotton on the other team uh having that extra you know units to hit with cherry blossom skill all right guys another team here this one is going to be a one that i actually lost on defense so i'm doing a revenge battle here but uh we see dark cow is probably going to be right here uh caramel arrow and the herb so let's go and see how well we do against this team they are using an insignia all right here we go and this is a very popular team right now, right guys? So the uh, Caramel Arrow and the Dark Cacao uh, with the Eclair, Herb, and Pomegranate. It is a team that I've shared previously as well. Uh, but you can see that right now, even though uh, our skills have gone through a couple of times, uh, because Seafair and Cherry Blossom are using Solid Almond, they don't do that much damage until this uh, one minute mark, right? Where the extra 100% uh, damage come through. And, you know, that's where they really shine after that mark, right? Because of the extra damage percent and they do survive right here. And now with the uh, t uh, 30 second mark, they're going to just do a ton more damage too. And right here. And Cherry Blossom, can you survive? Oh, wow. That was so close. That was so close. If Cherry Blossom didn't have Solid Almond there, guys, we would have lost, right? And you can see... Caramel doing ton of damage. Man, that was actually really, really close. <laughs> but you can see the healing from my cookies as well just skyrockets with the extra damage percentage from Cherry Blossom too. So that is crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, guys. So here we go. This one's going to be another team here, but it's going to be the uh, Caramel Arrow, Dark Cow, as well as probably going to be T-Knight here. So let's see how well we do against this team. It is going to be the triple tank. And here we go. That was a lot of damage. Herb just uh, healing and purifying, like always. And we were able to defeat T Knight first, so we won't be able to. Uh, you know, see T Knight run around and just slash everybody up. She's gonna be Darker Cow just hmm, slashing away at my Darker Cow and dying. So, as you guys can see, you know, that Solid Almond uh, giving up that extra damage in the beginning uh, doesn't make Seed Fairy or Cherry Blossom any worse. It just allows them to have that survivability and allows our team to really wait until that one minute mark as well as that 30 second mark once again to deal so much more damage later on and just have that extra survivability right um so because of the fact that pomegranate and herb are just doing so much heal nowadays uh you can you can really just sacrifice a little bit of extra damage and allow them to have better survivability and you know defeat teams like this right we we pretty much had teams like you know using sorbet and camera arrow to defeat these kind of teams but now we're able to do it with this team too so just wanted to share that out with you guys but there you guys have it the, a team that you guys can utilize using cherry blossom cookie yes cherry blossom cookie is not going to be a must-have in the arena right now 
yes a lot of people say that she's not that good but she still has her good parts as well having a buff that is going to last a pretty long time 12 seconds right so if you guys look at other uh cookies pomegranate has seven seconds and other cookies like mango as well has only a seven second uh you know buff as well cherry blossom compared to them has one of the longest duration here and you know the ability for it to continue to stack up uh with you know the amount of enemies that she hits allows her to have this viability that you don't really see in other cookies but however i do want to say it is not going to be something that you have to have to use to replace something like a current meta team or any of the other teams that i've shared before if you have this cookie and you don't have the other cookies leveled up then it is a team that you can use and it is something that you can use if you have extra exp stars at least to level up cherry blossom but i just want to just show you guys that hey cherry blossom is not complete trash C cherry blossom is not completely useless inside of the arena but there is a potential that she can have using something like this and i honestly have to say it is not going to be a completely hard build uh to kind of build them because you know i didn't focus on extra you know cooldown or anything like that just damage resist damage resist damage resist and then just cool down on the uh, herb and the pomegranate so i uh, just wanted to share this team with you guys and i hope you guys found it helpful if you guys did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys will miss out on any future good game the videos as well as live streams that do on youtube anyways guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys all on the next one